man. It's uh, like a fucking <laughs> a bad sigh song. <laughs> Ooh, I'm businessman. Oh, 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 Bing bang reporting on. Yeah, I know. Um, so he started talking about this and started, he uploaded his first video on January 25th on YouTube, Holy which is banned in China, but, but accessible through a certain thing. Night. Um, so his first few videos, which is basically just him driving around the city, showing uh, the city, showing how everything looks differently, got very minor. But on February 1st, he filmed a video which got people to sit up and take notice. The clip, which has been viewed almost 200,000 times, appears to show eight corpses piled in a minibus outside a hospital in Wuhan. (laughs) Stop singing the song. Um, After that, he uh, Fang alleged that the police barged into his home that same night and interrogated him about his videos. He was taken away, warned, but eventually released. But on February 9th, he posted a 13-second video with the words, All people revolt, hand the power of the government back to the people. After I, that, his account was silent and he's disappeared. I, I, uh, is that the video where he's driving through the street? Like he, It's from the point of view of like a guy driving a car? That's where, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, I did see the video. I didn't hear the audio or or I didn't see a caption. I didn't know what he was saying, but I did well, see the, the video. That was one of the first videos. The video you saw, that one there would have been one of the first videos he posted. Because like I said, the first couple of videos was him just driving around from his perspective, just pointing the yeah. camera at the, yeah, the camera. Yeah, I did see a couple what of they those. Were. And then after that, he points, posted the video of the van full of dead people. Um, and then that's when the cops showed up and everything else. And like I said, and on February 9th, he posted a 13 second view of the words, all people revolt, hand the power of the government back to people. And then his account went silent and he's disappeared. Nobody's seen or heard from him since. Nobody knows what happened. Now, the other guy, Chen Kushi, yes, <laughs> I am butchering his last name. Fine with that. Um, he is a former human rights lawyer turned video journalist. Um, he's already been pretty well known in the activist thing. Um, he his reputation really was built over the coverage of the Hong Kong protests and uh, this summer. Oh, okay. um, uh, that so I'll just read the thing here. So basically, um, because of that coverage, Chinese authorities um, ultimately shut him down. They. Uh, all of his Chinese social media accounts were deleted, and he had around 700,000 followers. They're just flat out deleted. Um, Makes sense. He ended up starting up a YouTube account and a Twitter account uh, run by a friend outside of the city. Uh, so that's how he, he's a, that's why China can't shut it down because it's not him directly posting it through somebody else. Um, he um, he had visited different hustle when he wanted to because he said he goes I will use my camera to document what is really happening. I promise I won't cover up the truth. He said in his first YouTube video he visited different hospitals in Wuhan, looking at the conditions and speaking to patients. Um, on February seventh, a video was shared on his Twitter account um, featuring his mother, who said that he has gone missing the day before, and he's just literally disappeared um two guys started to speak out about a truth of what's going on in wuhan and what really is actually happening and both people have just disappeared i have no idea what happened to them um it's some people are basically saying they think that they have been uh, placed under, they were either forcefully taken away by police or placed under a forced quarantine. Right. But, but, um, yeah, they've like two guys trying to apparently talk about and expose about a giant secret going on with what's going on with this whole Wuhan virus. And they've just flat out disappeared. Um, yeah. Now, what is really going on with this virus? Um, well, new numbers just got released. Have you heard about this? I uh, you can you can um, 
you can uh, tell me. I don't care about the numbers anymore because I don't believe them and I don't care. Uh, but feel free, please. Um, they have uh, they've upped China has upped their numbers because they they claim the initial claim was that when they were releasing all of their numbers about how many people were sick and how many were dying in China, um, they say that their numbers weren't actually accurate because they were basing it off of only two specific tests, not on the actual test supposed to be used that every other country is using to find out what their true numbers are. Sure. So China's numbers went from um, overnight, they went from 500 and something deaths to um like just under 1600 deaths overnight and their cases went from 15,000 to 59,000 cases overnight just by how their their numbers changed sure so again not quite sure what all this directly equals um i can think of a whole whack of different fucking conspiracy theories um but um yeah there it is um so, something's going down as i i said uh two days ago on this show china lies <laughs> um absolutely china lies the numbers are wrong i don't think any of the numbers we receive are right um oh. I don't think we're ever going to get honest numbers out of anyone. We're going to get numbers from the side that says it's not that bad that are going to be lower, and we're going to get numbers from the side, the ones that say it's terrible and they're going to be higher. Um, that's just what happens. Um, guess what? 6,316 people are going to die before the end of this show. Not of yeah. coronavirus. 6,000. 316 people will die before Gordon and I are finished talking tonight. Not from coronavirus. So, I don't care if your number is 500 or 1500 or whatever the fuck it is. Every hour, six times that number, die. Every hour. So, I don't care about the 6,000 in the two fucking months that this has been a story. Uh, 1500, I'm sorry. In the two months that this has been a story, uh, every hour, 6,000 people die. So, 1,500 over two months, again, why do I give a fuck? Um, you don't. Two That's people die every that. second. There's something to keep in mind. Just count that off in your head. Two people die of something and not corona-related every second. Dead person. Two. Dead person. Two. Dead person. <laughs> Dead person. Dead person. Dead person. Fuck off with your coronavirus. Solve the problem. 151,000 people die every day. Why does nobody care about them? But we care about this. Uh, now, I refuse to go so far as to call it the China virus. I think that's a terrible fucking name. Um, I can't believe that people are calling it that. Newspapers, credible Canadian newspapers are calling it the China virus. Um that's racist. Uh, you think I'm racist? Holy shit. I wouldn't call it the China virus. A... Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, chink flu. Hey, you got the chink flu? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with our news agencies? There's so many bad jokes for that right now. <laughs> our news agencies are basically calling it the chink flu. <laughs> that is horrible. I'm not going to ever call it that. Um, but still, um, numbers are uh, manipulated, and that's fine. I, I understood that. I said the other day um, that that China's numbers were going to be wrong. Now, the current number that I've gotten, the most current I can get while we're on the air, is 1,491 coronavirus deaths so far 1491 so as Gord said 1500 that's pretty fucking close yeah. seasonal flu deaths in the same time period 58,253 1400 
China virus, chink flu. 58,000 regular flu. Just saying, I still don't get why this is a story. Why don't we talk about the flu and how the flu kills people? Um, Gordon and I have been talking all season about weird ways to die uh, that are going to kill you probably more likely than the coronavirus. A big fucking tree falling on you is about as likely. That just depends on which way you run. Um, (laughs) You know, uh, Jesus Christ, heart disease is way scarier than coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Everything is more scary than coronavirus. Riding a motorcycle. Okay, that that that's that's scarier. I just don't I don't get why we care other than, yes, there is something being covered up, whether it's China's covering something up or uh, we are covering something up and trying to pin something on China. I, I'm not sure who the bad side is on this, but there's there's clearly something we're not being told because the coronavirus shouldn't matter. No. Um, yeah. Cancer. No, that's Jesus. It. Look at cancer numbers. Look at any numbers. Yeah. Cardiovascular disease, 600,000 people a year in the U.S. Drug overdoses. There we go. Nobody talks about that right now. No. No, that's, that's, not, that's not a cool story. What about the 12,000 people who have died from fentanyl overdoses in B.C.? Still... Ten times coronavirus. Nobody cares. That's the part that I don't understand. Um, and I could go on and on. I can pull numbers out of my ass all night of things that kill more people. Um, me with a bat on a good day. I could outdo coronavirus. Trust me. And I can, too, because I don't exist. I can go out and start bashing in people's <laughs> fucking heads. There's no proof of who I am. You um, don't exist. I, I don't exist. That means I am invincible. <laughs> I can do whatever I want with impunity. Uh, because you can't prosecute someone who doesn't exist. I'm waiting. I'm trying to. I'm biding my time. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to do something cool, obviously. Oh, we'll come up with a great idea. It'll be the ultimate fucking. It'll be the ultimate stunt for the, for the show. That'll be for sure. Um, I've I've actually taken some steps today to rectify it. I don't know how well they're going to work, but um, I, I tried to do something and it went very well. Um, oh, good, good. I I knew that it <laughs> would. Um. I called Canada Revenue Agency and and said, "Hey, I'm not giving you any money. <laughs> I don't exist." <laughs> and they were real quick to point out that I exist. <laughs> they got all kinds of information on me. Um, uh, kind of funny how quickly they were like, "Oh no, no, you exist." Oh, really? Then give me my ID, you fucking retards. Well, we can't do that till you file your taxes. I see how this works. <laughs> um, if you guys um, want to hear me have a happy, much lighter, much more fun-loving and enjoyable opinion of something, I highly suggest coming this March, you listen to the stories behind the songs. Brought to you by Oracle Media Productions. The stories behind the songs, we talk about... All of your favorite songs by some of the biggest bands from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, right up to today. We are featuring The Cars, Styx, um, Rush, Elvis Costello, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, or, oh, I'm sorry, Silverchair, uh, The Beatles, um, who am I forgetting? 
We're going to be talking about Guns N' Roses, U2, R.E.M., uh, Faith No More, all kinds of just great stuff. If you go to the Stories Behind the Songs Facebook page, there's contests.